Memory Palace, the new song from Between the Buried and Me off of their upcoming album, Coma Elliptical. And this is probably one of the highest anticipated albums of the year uh, for 2015. And this song came as a total surprise that it was going to be dropped. So whenever it uh, came and, and really showed itself to us, it's a song that needed to be talked about. It begged to be talked about uh, after obsessing over it for about, oh, an hour or two. I don't know. I lost track of time. It's that good of a song. I think it's really kind of one of the things that, uh, that really can cause us to get lost a little bit. Now, uh, Memory Palace. First of all, I feel like this is an idea that's been done in a movie or a show before. I'm thinking like a Stephen King film. Um, just can't remember the title. Maybe somebody can sort of push me in the right direction there if I am indeed correct in that assumption that there was a memory palace or something that was within the mind that's very similar to this idea. Now, the song itself definitely bears in mind a lot of different uh, influences that we have heard on previous uh, Between the Barry and Me tracks in the past. So this isn't necessarily breaking too much new ground. It's all compositional in how they break new ground. It's how they are able to really take these myriad of influences from Pink Floyd to Opeth to Dream Theater to, you know, other elements of their past. I mean, this is a band whose name was gotten from a Counting Crows lyric, so their influences are rich and diverse. Uh, but it's the way in which they're able to use this compositional style to their advantage and really do so to elicit a reaction and elicit emotion out of a listener. More so emotion than reaction because any more of you say that you're just doing something to elicit reaction, everyone thinks you're just doing it for attention. No, Between the Buried and Me do this because this is a songwriting style that they have perfected. It's one that they themselves have crafted very, very well and done wonderful things with. Look at the album colors, for example. Look at how so many left and right turns are taken just out of the blue on that album, but how it somehow all compositionally makes musical sense and still sounds good in the process. That's a great way to describe Memory Palace. This is a song that makes compositional sense and it's even got a more mature feeling to the whole flow of it. It's one that feels exceptionally well tailored and very well groomed. I really enjoy the moments where we have just that soft, clean vocal and that very dreamy-like atmosphere that we see around four minutes at the track and then for the latter portions of the last two minutes. It's got a very big Pink Floyd vibe to it. I know a lot of people will probably complain about it being excessively Floydian or whatever, but I really enjoy this because for the chaos that you have that surrounds it, you need something to cool down everything and really deliver uh, some of the meat of the message, and it's very, very well tailored to do exactly that. Not to mention, musically speaking, it is something that hits you so quickly. That transition just hits you so quickly uh, that it can truthfully elicit that emotion out of you. It can transform uh, how you're feeling about the song as far as how you're feeling about yourself. You can go to being happy and pleased to all of a sudden, for no real reason, noticing that your eyes are getting a bit wet and you don't really know why. It's that hidden beauty, that hidden power within music that really causes things like this. And it definitely, this is a track that has the capability to do that with moments like that. This is a really strong song. I can't wait for this album. Uh, Between the Bear and Me will be doing a tour with Animals as leaders in support of the album later on this year. Uh, definitely check out and get your tickets and definitely pick up the album whenever it comes out. I think it's due out uh, in the summertime. Uh, I, I actually don't remember, but I definitely will be picking one up myself. This song definitely swayed me if I wasn't already going to do it, because, hell, I was going to already do it. I fucking love Between the Barrier and Me. Uh, but you guys should definitely check them out. I'm going to leave a link for the song in the description box for you guys to check it out. Uh, hopefully it doesn't disappear by the time you guys get to see it. But, uh... Yeah, check out the song. It's great. What did you guys think of it? I want to know what you guys thought about um, Memory Palace by Between the Buried and Me. Counting Crows. Now I want to listen to Counting Crows. I'm out of here.